Hey guys, my name is Jamin. Thanks so much for visiting my channel. In this video, I have an HP 15R series laptop. The specific model will be in the description and in the title. I'm gonna show you how to get in there and manually reset your BIOS system by temporarily removing your CMOS battery. I'll show you how to do that in this video. So first thing guys, power down your computer the correct way, make sure it's off and unplugged from your charger, and then we'll flip it over to access your bottom case screws. Okay, so to push the battery out, we're gonna unlock both these clips, push that one in, push that one in, and the battery comes out. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take out all my screws. I have three along the bottom, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 screws. So in addition to those 10 screw guys, you have two rubber feet up here and they have screws hidden underneath them. So I'm gonna take a small screwdriver and just gently pry up those rubber feet without breaking them. They're held on by double-sided tape, so they will come up. And now I can get those two screws under there. After taking those out, I can take my pry tool and pop these quarter panels off because if I don't take them off now, I could break them when opening up the computer. The last thing I wanna do on the bottom case is your CD-ROM drive. That screw right there releases your CD-ROM drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and slide that, slide that out. And there's actually two screws under there, those are the last two screws for this side of the bottom case to take out. As a side note guys, make sure you keep your screws separate. As you can see, those screws um, that came out of the CD-ROM area are small and flat. The ones that came out of here are, are longer, so make sure you keep your screws separate. Also, the screws that came out of this hole and this hole are longer than the screws that came out of these holes because those two screws go all the way down and screw in, into your keyboard. Um, so actually, I'll flip the computer over now and show you the keyboard because without taking apart the keyboard, we can't get into the computer. So I'm gonna take my small flat pry tool and go up top of the keyboard and get it out from those clips. And that's what you're looking at for underneath that keyboard. Now to get that ribbon cable up, I'm just gonna go in with my pry tool, pop that up and take the keyboard ribbon out. Okay, so to take a ribbon cable out of this kind of connector, first you have your ribbon cable here, you have the port on the motherboard, and then you have this retainer clip over here. This clip opens and shuts like a book cover. It opens from this side, and the hinges are on this side. So in order to get that up, be very careful, take a small flat pry tool, slide it underneath, and pop it up like that and then the ribbon cable can come out. After taking the ribbon cable out, I like to put it back down for safekeeping so it doesn't get caught on anything and rip. These are very, very breakable, these retainer clips. And if you break it, you're most likely not gonna be able to find a replacement, um, in which case your ribbon cable won't be able to uh, secure down anymore, so be very careful. To get the retainer clip back in, you would pop it up again very carefully. You would slide the ribbon cable in, nice and flush. It may take a few times if you're not used to it getting it flush and then just snap the retainer clip down and that's how you would operate that kind of clip. So after taking up your keyboard, there's a few more screws down here that we've got to take out. And then there's a couple more cables that I'm going to take up because these are plugged into the motherboard. I'm going to take that one up, this one up, and now I'm going to take my small pry tool I'm gonna go around the palm rest all the way along the edge. Oop, I missed a screw right there. That's a the thing, if you feel some resistance, guys, don't force it. You're definitely strong enough to break a laptop panel, but if you do feel some resistance, you may have missed a screw. So I'll just keep going across now. And that palm rest comes off like that. So this is what you're looking at for the inside of your computer. So unfortunately, in this horribly designed computer, the CMOS battery, as well as the RAM, is located under the motherboard. It's on the other side of the motherboard from what we're seeing here. So to get at the CMOS battery, we have to actually uninstall everything, unplug everything, flip the motherboard over, and then access our CMOS battery. The hard drive is located right here, 
and it's screwed in by a caddy that's screwed down there. So I'm gonna take up those two screws. After removing those screws, I'm gonna grab this pull tab right here and pull it sideways. That releases your hard drive and the hard drive comes out. So I'm gonna unplug those speaker wires right there, pull that out. Uh, I'm gonna take out this Wi-Fi card and just pull it out of the plug like that. And then I'm gonna take up the LCD cable. I'm gonna peel up that sticker, take my pry tool and push up on either side of the port until I get it out like that. And then after everything's unplugged, I have a screw there and there's one more right there. Okay, so now the motherboard, oop, there's actually a plug here, the power jack. So I'm gonna pull that, wiggle that right out of the port there. And then I'm gonna flip it over and there's one more ribbon cable over here, but it's hard to get to it until I flip it over. So I'm gonna take my pry tool, just like in the keyboard cable, pop that up, take that ribbon cable out to the USB board and put that back down. There's your CMOS battery. To reset BIOS, this CMOS battery is held into this cradle. To get it out, you would push it this way, in there, and it would release. Be very careful, oops, there we go. Be very careful, because if you force it, you could definitely break this cradle, and then you won't be able to get it back in. So after taking that out, you can replace it, or you can hold it out for 10, 15, 20 seconds to reset BIOS, put it back in, and then just press that way again and down and it secures into place there. Okay, so that's the video. That's how you access your CMOS battery. A lot more of a pain than it is in some computers. And that's how you would reset BIOS or replace your CMOS battery if that's why you're in there. So guys, if you had any questions, check out the FAQs below in the description. It could save you some time getting an answer. If you do need to leave me a question or a comment though, I do try to get back to those as often as I can. Also guys, if you need any replacement parts, CMOS batteries, hard drives, any replacement parts for this model computer, um, or any tools to get into the computer, there'll be a link above. I'll also have it below in the description on a list of all the various components and tools that you need for this laptop. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you next time.